Hello, my name is Jared Kamelski, and this is my video for advanced modeling in the game engine. So here we have the meshes that have been used in the editor, I'm currently viewing them in 3D Max. There's a robotic character, so there's been a lot of hard edge modeling done, as you can see. It consists of 8,752 tries and has several customizable parts. See the arms contain a blade coming off each wrist well as some pattern detail on the fingers, just to make them a little less boring. Added some asymmetry to the legs. You see this side is pretty plain and then as we come around here have some indentations and some extruded sections. Same goes for the torso as well. Come down to the boots. Have some sections coming off here. I wanted them to look a little less like standard boots and just have a few sections coming off them. And the head up here. Eyes are indented, similar to some of the reference pictures I started the, my work off with. So come around to the back of the torso we have some exhaust vents. As well as a screen which is illuminated using an emissive texture. Here we have the customizable parts models. We have the arms with both blades extended, arms with the right blade extended, left blade and no blades extended. Then the boots, we have two options, the original ones saw a minute ago and slightly modified version with a blade on the side of one leg again just to add a bit of extra asymmetry so here we have my final package running in the editor we're going to take a look at all of the meshes now so here we have the torso just load in some of the other meshes you see we have an emissive texture running on the indented sections on the front of the torso as well as the rear and a gradiented version on the side of the leg the character uses diffuse map, normal map, emissive textures and specular textures a computer screen on the side of the arm which reflects light quite nicely But there's a slight shininess to the blades. It's completely skinned to the Unreal biped. Here we have a character running on some of the standard animations that are available in Unreal. had a few issues while skinning originally one of the main issues were the blades on the arms some of the vertices were following the wrong bones so they were bending during animation the other part I had issue with was originally the ankles as during animating and bending of the legs there would be jagged edges but luckily I managed to fix these by adding a few more vertices for the deformation Here we have the script that's been used to get the character to work in Unreal. have all the parts here, the head, torso, the selection of arms, selection of boots, the legs and the shoulder pads. So there's the character's description and the default meshes that are used when customising the character and the faction data, as well as the mod family's information as well. I did originally have a problem with the script as there was a, a quotation mark missing. I've managed to notice that and get that corrected. Here we have my UT editor any file with the mod packages information in here. 
enabling the custom character to work. And here we have my UT family info, which I use for the script. So we have custom mesh for the FPS arms, as well as custom mesh for the physics asset as well. And here we have my UT game UI int file with the faction data in. So here we have the character working in game, the faction and family, as well as custom UI. And here we have the character in the customization screen. Working quite nicely. Have the shoulder pads, which can be toggled. A selection of arms. And the selection of boots. Jumping into game now. Extremely fast load up. the arms in first person view. Working quite well. See the blade extended on the left hand arm. I'm going to go into behind view. So we'll see in third person. They have some issues with texture mirroring. As you can see one half of the character does appear darker than the other half in some lighting. You can also see the emissive glowing on the back. These change colour when playing team games. So we just hop into a team match. Play. You are on red. As you can see, the emissives have changed colour to match the team colour. texture on the side of the leg as well. It's to help identify the character during team matches. Quickly moving over to the PlayStation version of Unreal Tournament to test out the character pieces. Let's see. 
installed. Sadly, to get to the character pieces, you have to go under the Iron Guard on the PlayStation. Which means that the custom head sadly doesn't work. However, all the other pieces do. We have all of our arms, both boots, and the shoulder pads. So there we have my custom character for Unreal Tournament 3. I feel it went well, although areas I could have improved on definitely the textures. And if I'm if I were to carry on with this character I would definitely do more Z brush modelling. <coughs> I didn't receive much feedback on the forums. However I was able to improve the model from feedback I got face to face 